uh, traders or FX markets being pushed and pulled by market participants really just betting on when the central banks are going to start cutting rates. So traders have some important risk events that will influence those expectations coming out this week. We've got CPI and retail sales out of the US, uh, Aussie jobs report as well. And uh, sterling traders have that UK GDP to look out for. So the charts I'll be watching this week is dollar index, DXY. So the recent strong employment and growth data out of the US has uh, seen the market reprice significantly lower the chance of a Fed rate cut in March. Um, meeting in their March meeting, the odds currently sitting around 19%, are down from around 50% not that long ago. Uh, this week's CPI will likely uh, go a long way to... Um, settling market expectations for this meeting. And so DXY is at a strong run up in 2024 as far, so far as, as we, we, on that continued Fed pushback really on rate cut expectations, it's really supported the US dollar. So key levels to watch this week are the 100 day moving average to the upside, which has capped further, further move up there in the dollar index over the last few sessions and the 200 day to the lower side, which should offer a bit of support there. Aussie dollar, US dollar, last Tuesday's RBA, um, the central bank did hold rates, but there was a hawkish bias to the company's statement, which was, I guess, as a relief for Aussie traders, Aussie bulls anyway, after we saw that break lower of support uh, at 65.25 on Monday, it looked like a significant decline was ahead for this pair. The RBA has a, does have a dual mandate of inflation and employment. Uh, so this week's jobs report will be closely watched after that big miss in December's figure that you know, once support at 65.25 now really establishing itself as a resistance level there and, and paired with that 100 day moving average as well. This would be the level to watch uh, to the upside to see if we can get a, a new direction in the Aussie dollar.